Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the structure of mitochondria. You should then be able to describe the function of mitochondria and then relate that to different cells. In the last video we saw that we can separate the different organelles found in cells using homogenization and centrifugation. One of these organelles is the mitochondria. This shows a typical mitochondrion. The average length of mitochondria is around 5 micrometers, although they can be smaller or larger than that. Mitochondria can be rod shaped like this one, but they can also be more spherical. Mitochondria carry out aerobic respiration, producing the vast majority of ATP molecules used by the cell to release energy. Mitochondria are surrounded by a double membrane. That's important for several reasons. Firstly, the membranes determine the molecules that can pass in and out of the mitochondrion. Secondly, the internal membrane is covered with enzymes and proteins needed for respiration. This membrane is folded and scientists call these folds Christi and you need to learn that. The Christi increases the surface area of the internal membrane. This means that there's an even greater area for the enzymes and proteins needed for respiration. The central part of the mitochondrion is called the matrix and this contains other enzymes needed for respiration. Mitochondria are unusual in that they contain their own DNA, which is separate from the DNA in the nucleus. The mitochondrial DNA is found in the matrix. The matrix also contains ribosomes. With the DNA, these ribosomes mean that the mitochondria can synthesize some of their own proteins. As we said at the beginning, mitochondria carry out aerobic respiration, producing ATP, which the cell uses to release energy. Cells which need a lot of energy tend to have more mitochondria. We can see that in muscle tissue and in liver cells. Both of these require a lot of energy and both have a lot of mitochondria. In later videos, we'll explore exactly how the mitochondria make ATP in respiration. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe the structure of mitochondria. You should then be able to describe the function of mitochondria and relate this to different cells. Thank you.